Today, Muslims across the world and here in the GTA are celebrating Eid al-Adha, the festival of sacrifice. It's the first celebration that actually feels like one since the pandemic began. And while some restrictions are still in place, families can still gather with loved ones to mark the special day. The day started with prayer. Hundreds of Muslims stood side by side wearing masks inside and outside of mosques like Islamic Foundation in Scarborough. Prayers were also held at the Islamic Institute of Toronto and Ontario Place, which hosted Eid Fest today. Food trucks, entertainment and outdoor activities for all after what felt like a very long time. Last year we were at home. We didn't pray together as a Muslim community together. Today we get a chance to pray together, which is very nice. Eid al-Adha marks the commemoration of Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son in obedience of God, as well as the end of the annual Hajj to Mecca. It's a very significant day for Muslims. This year is particularly significant given that it's been two years since we've been able to hold such a gathering due to the COVID-19 restrictions here in Ontario and also in the wake of the recent uh, terror and hate crimes uh, that Muslim communities have been facing here in Canada. What a pleasure to be with you here this morning, my friends. Eid Mubarak. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau acknowledged the difficult year Muslims have had at a Hamilton mosque today, condemning Islamophobia and saying every single Canadian needs to take action against it. People of faith are worried, is it safe to walk the streets in Canada? That is unacceptable, but it is the reality. We also must understand the impact today of the hatred that still exists in pockets of our society. Mayor John Tory took the opportunity to thank the Muslim community for all it has done. Countless Muslims across every part of our city have done their part, not only by getting vaccinated, but by working and volunteering in their communities to help others get vaccinated. This is just one example of hundreds that exemplify the sacrifices and the contributions made by our very own Muslims to safeguard their city. While it is a day to reflect, it's also one to have fun. Oakville resident Fatima Basith got a chance to host a party today. Cooking a feast is one of the many things she missed most these past few Eids. Eid is always about uh, celebration and with family and friends and food and everybody get together. And uh, we, you know, didn't get a chance to celebrate that. So this time it's, you know, we are more excited. You know, I haven't seen the family and friends uh, very often. Muslim families we spoke to say Eid actually feels like Eid today, but they're still hoping for bigger and better celebrations next year, hopefully without any restrictions at all. For City News, I'm Malia Sheikh.